So in my previous video, I showed you how to merge one structure into another to show a conformational change. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manipulate the colors and make the ribbon diagram look pretty. So here I have, if I zoom in here, I can see that I have water bound to my calcium ions, um, but it only shows the oxygen atom. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show the hydrogen atoms that are also attached to the oxygen so that it looks like a water molecule later when I make a, a movie about this. So I'm going to select my water molecules by going to select and make sure that this is in the replace mode and I can select my residue and notice that residues we have our amino acid residues but we also have calcium and water. So I'm going to select water and then I'm going to go to the structure building tool, or structure editing, excuse me, and I'm going to add hydrogens. I would like to add the hydrogens only to the original APO structure so that that will only add waters here, or excuse me, hydrogens here, but not onto the protein. Press OK. And now I have my hydrogens. I'm going to go ahead and select the entire water molecules again, and I'd like to show those in ball and stick. So now that looks like what we usually see for a model of water. Now I unselect by pressing control and clicking uh, in the background. I'd also like to change the color of this ribbon. And the first, one of the ways you can select the ribbon is by hovering over it, press control and click. So that selects one area on the ribbon. Use the up arrow key, it expands that selection. So now I've selected this entire protein and I'd like to change its colors. So one way you can do this is just go to actions, color, and I could turn this red if I wanted to. Another thing you can do is you can make the color transparent. So you can go to Actions, Color, and you can select the From Editor option. And this allows you to modify the colors. So here in the Color Editor, you have an option that allows you to control the opacity of the model. And the slider at the bottom allows you to make any color transparent. Sometimes it's also nice to use the coloring tools. So if we go into the Tools menu and go to depiction, there's a rainbow option. And that rainbow option allows you um, to choose the color range. If you just use the default color range, do this only to the morph, and apply that, you get a nice rainbow. You can also make these colors transparent by clicking on each individual color and making sure this box is checked. And then you just use this slider. Let's make it 40%. And now once you make all of the colors semi-transparent, you can press apply and it makes the rainbow semi-transparent. So now the only things on the structure that are opaque are the calcium ions and the water molecules that are bound to those calciums. I'd also like to change the background color here. So there's a couple options you have for background unselect the ribbon diagram by pressing control and clicking in the background and now I'm going to go to color and all options and here I will choose that I would like to control just the background and you can make this white for example so I, pr I like the white background with the transparent ribbons you can also do something a little, little bit more complicated if you click on the more feature and you can do a background gradient. So let's do that. Here we go. I go to custom. I'm choosing two colors and I'm going to make this gray. So now I have a gradient from white to gray and I like this. So the last thing I'll do is I will want to show the side chain atoms that are binding to my calcium. So 
I'll close the unnecessary windows at this point. I'm not going to close my molecular movie animation window. I need that to be visible so that I can see the morph. I'm going to make sure that I'm in the calcium binding form, so the metal bound form, and I am. And then I'm going to select the calcium ions themselves. So notice that the calcium ions have been selected. And now I'm going to select the zone around the calcium ions. I'm going to select uh, anything that's less than five angstroms away. And I'd also like to select all the atoms and bonds of the residues that are in that range. Press OK. So that's going to select the atoms that are very close to the calcium ions, which are usually the amino acid side chains that are coordinated. So now I'm going to change my selection mode again to intersect, and I'm going to select of those atoms that are, or excuse me, of the zones that are already selected, I'd like to select the side chains. And I will choose si selecting with the alpha carbon. And now I'm going to ask it to show the atoms and bonds of those side chains. So right now I'm only so showing the side chains. I am not showing any of the backbone atoms. Now for these side chain atoms, I'd like to show uh, the atoms that are coordinating or I, I want to highlight the hetero atoms. So with my side chains selected, I will recolor by hetero atom. And now I can see my hetero atoms that are part of the coordination environment of calcium in these structures. I've decided that this gray is a little bit too dark, so I'm going to go back into color and all options. I'm going to select the background again and go back in here and make this a little bit lighter. Not quite so dark. Okay, so now I have colored this in a way that I think is attractive and I can go back and start making my molecular animation.